Can I share with you what one of my favorite moments in making a loaf of bread is? It's this moment when the bread first comes out of the oven. You can pick up the loaf and get the most intense aroma that comes from bread. Oh, your kitchen's going to smell like bread for an hour or more. And the bread is going to smell very good for a while. But there's only about five minutes that that very intense fragrance comes from the bread. And I hope you'll take a moment to enjoy it the next time you pull a loaf of bread out of the oven. Ciabatta is made from a lean and rustic dough. That means that the dough is made up primarily of flour, water, salt, and yeast to be lean and is extremely sticky or wet. We're not concerned as much about surface tension with ciabatta. We become more concerned with avoiding degassing the dough and maintaining the bubble structure inside the dough so that we'll have a crumb that has large and irregular holes. This particular crumb structure is ideal for dipping in herbed olive oil or slathering with butter. And I'm going to prepare it for its first use by covering it with a generous layer of flour. And then I'm going to rub that into the weave. Each and every time you use the cooch, you're going to need to recharge the layer of flour uh, on the surface. You can use either side, it doesn't matter. Uh, I tend to use the same side over and over. We've got the cooch prepared. I'm going to pick it up and move it aside. I'm going to bring the dough over. Now this dough is in a bit of a fragile state, but that's okay. It's full of bubbles. We're going to remove the plastic wrap. We're going to cut this in half with the dough scrapes top onto this board, and then we're going to use the board to transfer it back onto the paper. Now, in order to keep the board from sticking, we will rub a little flour onto it. If you see here, we get a bubble, all right? If we leave that bubble in place, we're going to have a big blowout and a burn spot. So I'm going to pinch that bubble and relieve that pressure so that I don't have a blowout. Place the loaves on the baking stone. Pour the water. Remove the towel. Close the door, pushing in the steamer device. Let's get the thermometer in. Now you'll notice while we're waiting for that temperature to be read, we've got all the nice features of a ciabatta here. We've got the folds still showing. We've got a little flour coating the surface. We've got a nice red and brown uh, crust. And I can tell you, these are going to have nice open holes. They're going to be very flavorful loaves. And our temperature is right at 205. Since you've got the thermometer in there anyway, just leave it. And that way you'll be able to tell when these loaves have cooled down to room temperature. You shouldn't cut into the bread until it's reached just about room temperature. And don't forget, when the bread is barely cool enough to touch, to pick it up. And just inhale that wonderful fragrance. It's so fleeting at that intensity.